That's where I was coming to, okay? But since we know who we are, because we know who Noble Drew Ali was, we know who Empress Verde Asi was, we know who Charles Mosley Bay was, we know who Ravana Bay is, we know who um, um, Taj Tariq Bay is, you know, we know who's telling us the the corporation is a legal fiction operating in a de facto capacity under the color of law, violating all the laws of their own books. We know that they recruit us to do their criminal activity, then charge us with crimes, which is also against the laws of their own books. Because the government can't commit a crime to arrest you for committing that crime. It's called entrapment. Got us hustling backwards like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I know I can't take up all this live rapping with you, but man, I really got to, I really want to get with, I wish that I could get with you in some kind of way so I could be directed in the right way and, 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 and speak Look. properly. You know what I'm saying? On who and what I am and what we are, period. And as well as helping people to come to this overstanding. Well, the main things you need to know, if somebody trying to get you to do paperwork, they're a slave catcher. If somebody trying to can get you to take a... Shit, I ain't fucking with that. I, <laughs> I ain't, I'm just ain't. giving you the guidelines so you'll know right, what you're right. dealing with. Right, right. Um, the chief, Malik Angel Bay, Red Lodge, he is the one that all more should be under. So when you saying free Larry Hoover, you also saying free Chief Malik Angel Bay. He is the highest member ranked on the land on the Red Lodge, which automatically takes control of the um, Morris Science Temple, which falls under the Red Lodge. As we reclaim our shit, he claimed the temple. He claimed the temple because he got what you call the de jure right on the land to govern over the affairs of the temple. Okay. Right. So they need him out of the they needed him out of the way. <coughs> right. So if you 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 say you from Chicago? Yeah. Um so if you know any P stones, tell them to teach you about Malik Angel Bay so you can have what what you need to know. Yeah, my mom was affiliated with him, but I've been gone away from that for so long. I have no more connections. I mean, I got some. I still have some family up there, but I really don't have any connection with anybody up there anymore. Mm -hmm. We've well, been down south for a while. Well, at this point in time, where we had we on the, on this free leg Hoover campaign, which also includes Chief Malik Angel Bay, it includes all of the political prisoners, and they got a record of all of the ones they took prisoner. It's the size of a phone book. Get all the leaders out the way. Get all the heads out the way. And no motherfucker gonna be, we, meaning us, gonna be running around this motherfucker like chicken with their head cut off. Yep. But once one of us can tell us what's going on, I, okay, so like Iran Contra, George Herbert Walker Bush gave six pardons out in order to stop the investigation and the biggest drug dealing, gun, drugs for guns, trading with the enemy violation in the history of the country. The, everything they uh, accused our leadership of doing, they was actually doing it in real time. Real time. That North motherfucker. Right. So while, while they calling Jeff Ford and, and Larry Hoover gang bangers and gang leaders, they the ones leading the gang. Of course. That's so fucking... They leading the DEA. They leading the CIA. They leading the FBI. They leading the motherfucking COINTEL pro operations on our land. And the COINTEL pro operations was specifically designed to take leadership out of our community. Okay. It's a mission statement to stop the rise of any potential messiah who would incite the masses. Right. That's who. Right. And that motherfucking cross dressing motherfucker was the one who, who, who did that shit. Mm hmm. But that motherfucking name, uh, they would send guys in to act like they the print they your friend, right? This is how they play us. And they would tell people 
you ought to kill that motherfucker. And as soon as you kill him, he ain't nowhere to be found. He ain't on the case, nothing. He ain't no witness. He just dipped. But you carrying, you now you holding the weight. Right? Uh, so that's, yo. that. yeah. They always instigating some shit, but ain't never around when the shit go down. So are we using that term right more or was it be, uh, aboriginal? All, all them European words. All that shit. Yeah. We, it, right now we speaking English, so we using English terminologies to try to just find something that was here before English. Yeah. So the closest thing is just to say sovereign and tribal. Yeah. You know? And when we get done getting them off the land, are we gonna, you're going to automatically know where to go to tribe up. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to automatically know where to go to tribe up. It's going to be simple. If this shit, I mean, you could, you, you, it, it, without a doubt, if you got any motherfucking inkling of, it, of any kind of motherfucking intelligence, if the spirit don't woke you up, you see what the fuck going on. You know this shit over with. And we just dealing with remnants and shit of the fall. Yep. You're exactly right. All this is is just the leftovers. So we just trying to clean it up now. I, man, I'm so motherfucking ready for this shit to be over with, cuz cuz I got children. They grown, but I got children. And I got to make sure that they know what to do as they come on up of age cuz I'm you know what I'm saying? And what about all the other babies? Now, meaning like the neophytes that are coming up right now. They got to know what to do. We got to have some OGs out here like yourself and me to guide that introduction that they're coming in. Yeah, I'd say it all the time. We the elders now. That's it. And we, shit, it ain't many of us left. You feel me? They got our folks so caught up with this fucking bullshit that's going on with this low frequency that's on the planet, fucking them off with this bullshit mumble rap that they looking at and these bullshit ass programs on television. This food, there's a food fucked up. So what, no leaders are coming up. They're not being born. They're not coming to the camp to be trained. Well, so, you got to look at our condition, right? E every time a leader come up in our community, what happened to him? He, they either, not disgraced, he either disgraced or murdered or they locked up. Yeah. Right. They fall for the whole thing, don't get caught up, you know, become a, a, a fucking plant or whatever because of greed, because of selfish human desires, or they get knocked out because they can't turn them that way. A certain one of us can't sell out if we want to. It's Think just not in us. It ain't, it ain't in me. We can't even fake it good. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So yeah, you know, on this uh and, and, and what's so cold about it, you know that you're old soul, you know that you OG, your original God. Because that shit that you've been dealing with that shit when you was six, five years old. You knew you was different. You knew I'm I'm not like this shit. <coughs> I always been the motherfucking cast out, the black sheep or whatever you hide if you wanna put it. Nigga, I don't wanna go over there and do this what you doing. Come over here and do this what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So as yeah. you come, you know, as I came up through life, spirit constantly talking to me, answer constantly talking to me, telling me to do this, do that. You start reading and study, lock yourself off from all the clubs and groups and organizations that you fuck with. And you buckle down, you start studying. But I'm still don't have it all together. So when I ran into you, I was like, damn, I know cuz from somewhere, man. It's like your face just looks so fucking familiar. <laughs> that's because we probably was somewhere in the ayahuasca ceremony 500 years ago talking about how we were going to come back and fight these motherfuckers and get them off our land. Shit, that sound about right to me. <laughs> sound about right to me, homie. You know? So I want you to keep up with me, man. I'm going to keep up with you because I'm going to be damn you. I'm asking you questions. And, you feel me? And then, look, the best thing about it, whoever out there in that live, whoever out there in that audience, they being touched by the same energy. Yes, sir. You feel me? It's an undeniable force. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, 
so just to, just a reminder, man, the people who are out there right now, you got to understand and know, don't fuck with this shit. Don't play with it. Be serious about it. Get down on your studies. Don't feel rushed because you think you need to know this, this, and this. Take your fucking time. Action it shall be given. Yeah. My mama told me, my mama used to tell me all the time, the race don't always go to the swift. Most of the time, it go to the slow and steady. Then they put that shit in the Bugs Bunny cartoon? Bugs Bunny wasn't yep. just funny. They were letting you know. Yep. Yep. Comedy. Yeah, right. Buck dancing. Yeah. Big, bro. Big. Yeah. Big. It. it was good connecting with you. Um, I'm about to wrap this one up and um see what what my what my um information got coming in for the day. Big man. So let's uh like I said, keep up with each other, and uh I appreciate you for uh, for what you're doing, homie. And uh let's keep going, baby. No, I ain't, ain't no stop, ain't no quit, ain't no retreat, and ain't no surrender. Big. Yep. All right. I'm um catch up with you a little later. Okay. I'm, um, go I'm, go through my questions and make sure I ain't got no questions before I log out. Peace. Peace. All right. All right, fam. Peace. Peace. Black Nova Scotia, people of the land. Nova Scotia is in Canada. And it was a settlement that was given to Queen Scotta's sister, Scotia. Um, and that's the the why it's called uh, Nova Scotia, mean New Scotta. And um, that's the uh, uh, Irish settlement of Irishmen that looked this color. Um, but as you seen when we was listening in the beginning to uh, Joseph Sinku from the Symbionese Liberation Army, the Irish is is over their head with us in this shit on the same level we in on this shit, fighting the same motherfuckers we fighting over here. They was fighting over there with the Irish Republic Army, right? So the the war was global. It was in Africa. We had uh, Kenya. They had the Mau Mau Rebellion. South Africa, we know about the uh, African National Congress. We know about the Pan-African Congress. This was uh, um, Stephen Biko and um, Nelson Mandela. And Winnie Mandela was the heartbeat of the South African Revolution. And the Winnie Mandela effect is... Um, it's a queen flip a queen scenario on two queens across knocking across the water. So when she met Khadija Muhammad, she gave her the keys to her kingdom to hold for her until the time when they was reclaimed the matriarchy. So now you see the Mandela effect about to take place when we raise the matriarchy here, it automatically raises it in South Africa, which affects the whole continent. We banded forces to fight these motherfuckers, and now they being rooted out at the root, so these motherfuckers can't come back no more, right? So the conversation is um, critical, but we got to know who we are, and we have to stand up for our leaders if we want our leaders to stand up for us. It's a symbiotic relationship, just like the SLA was a Symbionese Liberation Army based off symbiotic relationship. Two things working together to make sure that each one of the other things survive, right? So um, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope y'all got some information y'all can use. We cash and receipts today. So we're going to see what it do from here. We keep pushing the agenda. Free Larry Hoover is the battle cry. And with Larry Hoover comes all our political prisoners that was leaders in our community. Asada Shakur come home. Um, we uh, get, to get, to, get to secure our children from the sex trafficking and the child pedophiles. We get to secure all of these things under standing up for the Larry Hoover battle cry. 
<clears throat> so this is where we at. Uh, so I'm gonna leave y'all with that for the day, and I'm gonna see what Big Mama give me to do after this. And this is the hard part for us to understand because the Dawes Rolls got us fucked up. They brought them people over here as POWs from wars before. See, they got kicked out of Europe. They got kicked out of Europe. They <laughs> took their spoils of war with them, which included slaves. Classified them as indentures and brought them over here because slavery was not allowed on this land, nor was debt. And lo and behold, as soon as they get a stronghold, the first thing they do is establish a system of debt and slavery. And they look like us. We call them house niggas. Oh. They ain't us. The house and the pale people in the house pretending to be master was they servants that they brought over here with them. The that they brought from the wars with the Mongols and the Huns, and this is why Genghis Khan blood is so thick on this land. Wow. Because they brought Huns by the ton. They had captured warfare and rendered servants in servitude. The contracts that we call treaties was made between those two groups of people. It didn't have nothing to do with us. So they established the Dawes Roll to register the Huns and the Mongolians that they brought over here. And they had some people from the Indus Valley mixed in with them. And they called these people Dawes Rolls Indians. Mm hmm this is how they tied the tribes, the Dawes Road Indians. They took the elders, especially the old ladies, and changed them to one of the reservations. The old lady then had to teach the young women from over there, and this is how the women was able to make pacts and agreements in their face behind their backs for them to keep our sacred secrets on the reservations while we go out here and fight this war. Are the Lenape a part of that? Um, I tagged a brother named Ross Ben because he he delved into the history of Philadelphia. The Lenape posed as our people, signed a treaty, and I guess started Philadelphia, and it was down here from there. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's, that was a... a a Dawes Road, all treaties was done with Dawes Rose Indian. Okay. It wasn't done. You you can't find a treaty that was a real Iroquois. A real, the Seminoles never, the Hopi never signed treaties. Right, the Hopi. You, you, they you hear the down. tribes, you hear all of the tribes, even the ones on the reservation saying, this tribe never signed a treaty. <clears throat> That's because we were we've been locked in a perpetual state of war, right? We just been in the middle of a ceasefire. That's all. We just in the middle of a ceasefire. It I'll went from a full blown bloodbath mm. to a kind of war only because they got rid of all our elders with the bloodbath. of the elders, they can miseducate the children and they thought that that would be enough. That would be enough to keep us remembering who we is at the close of the age so they can claim victory by military conquest. Mm. There was one wild card they did never... Big Mama always got one, one motherfucking child, one of her boys designed for the job that's at hand. All right, now. Yeah, she got one for every job they come up with. To hold us in the press, that she got one of her boys gonna come. This shit. <clears throat> in also, this particular you... case, mm -hmm. it's me. <laughs> and we appreciate you. I appreciate you. I mean, <laughs> as everybody else has said, from what I've heard, I was listening to your videos. And something that you mentioned mm -hmm. when you talked about Liberia and how they brought, I don't know, some of us over there, I also wanted to bring up Sierra Leone because. They founded a university there when they came over. 
and they found a university. Right. So in, let's in go back a little bit further. You ever heard of? You ever heard of the Berlin Conference? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> this was the problem. The Berlin Conference was the European nations dividing the world up in order to um, carry what they call a white man's burden. Hmm. Burden was written in the poem by Rudyard Kipling, who explained it. It was announced by the Pope, a mission directive of the Catholic Church was the white man's burden to civilize the world and convert them into the faith of the Roman Catholic Church. Oh, yeah, you're real good now. Look, they say she's back. <laughs> so look when they're using scare tactic as a means of control you have to use the same tactic as a means to break the control don't none of them organizations secret societies scare you because all their secrets is out in the open you just got to be perceptive enough to see them the only reason why you don't know their secrets is because your erudition, your education level isn't sufficient enough to know how to translate their language. 